Effective policy frameworks and informed legislation are vital catalysts for national development. Recognizing this, the National Agency for the Control of AIDS, NACA, United States Agency for International Development, USAID, Joint United Nations Program on HIV and AIDS, UNAIDS, and John Hopkins Program for International Education in Gynecology and Obstetrics, JPAIBO, recently hosted a two-day retreat at the National Assembly House Committee on AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria, ATA. In her welcome address, the Director General of NACA, Dr. Temitokwe Ilori, explained that the retreat with the theme, Leadership for Sustainability of the HIV Response, the role of the legislative, aims to enhance legislative commitment in the fight against HIV and AIDS. We are working with an average estimate of about 2 million Nigerians living with HIV AIDS and about 1.7 million of them are on treatment. But be that as it may, we realize that in the past 20 years or so, uh, most of the treatment and most of the national response are being funded by donors. And we think it's, it's time we start talking about ownership, about sustainability. We have what we call the new business model and this is trying to use both national and subnational structures to sustain the national response. You know, we have a target of eradicating HIV AIDS by the year 2030, which is a global target, and we're trying to work towards achieving this. So we believe that as um, stakeholders in this project, the honorable members supervising us of the ATM committee should be well abreast, you know, of the situation as of today and what our roadmap and our, you know, our um, vision and mission is and how we want to achieve one the target and also to ensure you know sustainability and ownership of the national response and that is why we deem it fit you know to bring on all of you all the way from abuja under this you know um, umbrella the un aids country director highlights the crucial role of the lawmakers in country ownership and sustainability of the hiv response it takes political courage, it takes financial courage, you know, so to end it, to end AIDS by 2030. So I really want to call on you because we need you. We need the leadership of the House. We need the leadership of the Senate to scale up our response. But above all, when we get to epidemic control, we need to sustain those gains. So how do we need you? We need you for effective legislation, the laws and then the policies. We need you for resource allocation. We passed the Abuja Declaration of spending 15% of our budget, you know, so for health. We are getting merely around 5%. And will agree with me that this is not acceptable. Nigeria is a very rich country. Thirdly, we need you because you are high profile politicians and then leader to raise awareness and then educate people. When you speak, people will listen to you in your various constituency. And last but not least, we need you to ensure that there's accountability and then there's transparency in your oversight role in making sure that the resources allocated are effectively used, programs that have, be to, have to be implemented are implemented. Goodwill messages were delivered by the country director, Jepaigo, the Taraba State Commissioner of Health, and the National Coordinator, National AIDS and STDs Control Program. In his keynote address, the House Committee Chairman on ATM, Honorable Godwin Amobi, loaded the retreat for its relevance and timeliness. The convening of this retreat is a right step in the right direction in ensuring an effective and sustained legislative response to fight against HIV in Nigeria. I have always argued that parliamentarians as representatives of the people must be carried along during programs, constitutionalization, and 
formulation to ensure ownership and enlightenment at the communities. It is no rocket science that if we know what your concern or challenges are, then we will be in a better position to appreciate these concerns and to make necessary budgetary provisions to address them. The House Committee Chairman pledged the commitment of the National Assembly in ending HIV and AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. We are determined to do things different so as to avoid past mistakes and chart a new course for our dear nation. And the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President Bola Ahmed Tenobu have always advocated that government must take the lead in the fight against HIV, stroke AIDS, tuberculosis, leprosy, and malaria control by providing the needed funds to drive the process of ending this disease by year 2030. The committee is proposing that 1% from the consolidated revenue be dedicated to fight against these diseases. This will reduce our over-dependence on foreign grants and donor agencies. We also recommend that NACA be restructured to a multi-sector agency to manage these resources. We will continue to provide legislation that promotes comprehensive health care, support research, and ensure access to quality treatment and strengthen partnership that are crucial to our collective success. Several presentations were made, including the overview of Nigeria's HIV epidemic by Dr. Francis Abbo, the NACA Acting Director of the Research, Monitoring and Evaluation Directorate. Ownership and Sustainability of the National HIV and AIDS Response by Dr. Yewande Olaifa, Assistant Director, Community Prevention and Care Services Department, NACA. And the Taraba Experience, Ownership and Sustainability of HIV Response by Dr. Garba Danjuma, Director General of the Taraba State Agency for the Control of AIDS. The workshop was highly interactive as participants asked salient questions duly answered by the Director General and officials of NACA. The two-day retreat is part of NACA's extensive efforts to provide an enabling policy environment and facilitate multi-sectoral planning, implementation, monitoring, and evaluation of HIV and AIDS prevention and impact mitigation activities in Nigeria. For more information on HIV and AIDS and related diseases, or to report suspected cases of stigma and discrimination, violence and human rights violation, please call the National Call Centre, toll free on 6222. Reach us via social media at National Call Centre or email callcenter at naca.gov.ng and visit our website on naca.gov.ng.